While the COVID-19 pandemic cannot completely shut down Athens Charity Week, safety protocols limited event capacity and hindered the ability for many events to run as usual. Though Charity Week returns as normal this year, only the seniors have ever experienced a regular Charity Week. And if you're not familiar with Charity Week, you might be surprised by what Athens students can accomplish. Charity Week is a week-ish long experience consisting of a number of various programs that we run on each day and the goal is to raise money for the charity that we choose. When I have to describe Charity Week to people who do not, who do not live in the Troy community, they always wonder, oh, it can't be that big or, oh, it doesn't make that big of an impact until I tell them how much like we actually impact the charity. It's a really neat way to see how like it started as a small thing, but now it's growing. And grow it has. Charity Week has been around since the 1980s and saw small growth each year for two decades, with each week bringing in a few thousand dollars. In the 2010s, things started to take off, with the $100,000 barrier shattered in 2017, with $155,000 raised for the Believe in Miracles Foundation and the Charity Week record set in 2020, with $180,000 raised for Ellie's house just before the pandemic hit. In total, Charity Week has brought in over $1.5 million. But while the money is important and memorable to each student, the true impact of Charity Week is felt in other ways. You can donate to charities whenever you want, but it's taking the time and coming together with your friends and family and everybody's working towards one goal. And I think that's really what brings the community together. I think the word of Charity Week is impact and just truly making an impact and seeing like that it that it is bigger than ourselves. This year, the impact will be felt by Carol's Angels and Warriors, a nonprofit founded by Emily Schenke that helps victims of abuse. Charities are selected by Student Congress for Charity Week based on an application and a presentation. Near the top of everyone's criteria list is knowing that the money raised will have a direct impact on those in need. Domestic violence, it doesn't choose a specific type. It's open to everybody, every race, gender, age. My mom was a victim of abuse for nearly 11 years, and in the end, her abuser chose to take her life after her life was taken. Her home was destroyed by her abuser, and the city in which she lived in determined that my mom would have to pay for the demolition of her house um, after she was already deceased. After doing a lot of research, I found that was totally it was legal and they were allowed to do that, which felt wrong for me because you should never be responsible for your abuser's actions. That's not really fair when you're already living a horrible life and trying to protect yourself. The mission of Carol's Angels and Warriors is to support victims and survivors of trauma, loss, and abuse. So what does that look like? This is definitely a way of personal healing. By me opening up and sharing my story, a lot of people have felt relief because they can open up and talk about their own personal incidents with domestic violence. Also important in selecting Carol's Angels and Warriors was bringing attention to a relevant issue. We really loved Carol's Angels and Warriors um, because of the way their charity operates. They, the money that we are raising is directly given to um, victims of domestic abuse. All of the money that is going to be raised is gonna go directly to our survivors. $600 has been proven to have a survivor or a victim get out of an unsafe environment and seek safety immediately. If Troy Athens was able to raise at least $100,000, we would be able to save 167 people from a violent relationship. These are individual people that we're saving from a life of violence and abuse and we're completely turning around their life for them. You could have a friend who might be in an abusive relationship and learning how to handle that or learning how to support your friend in that situation is gonna be a long time, a long time thing that's gonna stick with you that you're gonna be able to use forever. With Charity Week returning, an important Athens tradition is fully back and another generation of students are ready to make it meaningful. You talk to graduates and Charity Week is one of the most notable parts of their experience and it's so unique and it's impactful for the charity and it's also impactful for us.